I'm Brett Bollinger with Crowdport Incorporated. I'm going to be reviewing how to safely unload specimens from a Crowdport Express shipper using these instructions. To begin with, we're going to go over the required equipment for handling cryogenic substances. To begin with, you'll need a pair of cryogenic gloves. In addition to that, you'll need a pair of goggles. And finally, you'll need a pair of scissors to open up the specimen package. Once the box arrives at your location, you'll want to open it by using a simple box cutter and cutting across the tape. When you open it, you'll see flap B, labeled B, and on the inside of that flap will be the instructions on how to unload the sample. Notice I have my personal protective equipment on, and we will start by removing the vapor plug from the box. Then we'll grab the handle from the specimen bag and pull it out. With our pair of scissors, we'll cut across the blue line. Peel back the packaging. remove our samples, and immediately place them in our storage container. If this box was originally shipping a biological substance or an infectious substance, you'll notice that there would be a UN3373 label or potentially a, another label denoting the type of substance that was inside. Since it is going to be empty on its way back to the crowd port, we have provided an empty label for you to place over the top of the label that is now on the box. This ensures that the carrying company, the carrier, uh, knows that there are no longer any infectious or biological substances inside the container. Once we've safely stored our specimens, we now need to prepare the package to, for its return trip back to Cryoport. We'll do that by taking the vapor plug, placing it back in its hole, putting the absorbent pad flaps down first. We'll want to make sure that our flap A is at the bottom and flap B is now on the top. This has all of the information required to ship back to Cryoport. There's no additional need for additional paperwork. You'll tape the box closed with simple packaging tape and leave it out for FedEx to pick up and your job is done.